What is going on guys? My name is Lexus and welcome back to the channel. It is so good to see you guys again. So today we are going to be doing something a little bit crazy for me, at least something that I've never done before, but I definitely want to do it because, well, we need to. So within a few days, the Red Eye Charger is coming back. It's getting tuned right now. They got all the work done, which means when it comes back, we're going straight to the drag strip. But that also means that I really, really want to take this bad boy back there and see if I can improve my time on stock Ram TRX numbers. So last time we ran was like a consistent, 7.94 7.95 well today i'm gonna try to figure out if i can do some weight reduction mods on this thing and see if we can improve our time doing it that way so without further ado let's get this video going all right, now I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh my God, this guy's gonna tear a brand new truck apart and start doing stupid stuff to it. Yes and no. I'm gonna be very realistic as to what I take off this truck because I still, at the end of the day, need to be able to drive it every single day to work since there's about two to three days until we take it to the track. So first thing I'm gonna take off is, of course, the Ram bar because while it's heavy, it's kind of pointless unless I put a bunch of lights on it and I never will, let's be honest here. And then I already took off the spare tire and the spare tire holder. So we're gonna weigh those. I have a little scale. We're gonna figure out how much weight that saved us just by getting rid of those options and then oh, i've never done this before and i'm about to i'm going to take the back seats out of here which quite frankly i barely ever use anyway so i'm going to be taking this back piece and i think this piece as well this should come out pretty easily on both sides and then we're going to take that seat off as well so the, <laughs> the passenger seat is going to be coming off and quite frankly i'm not going to lie i'm a little nervous about doing it i called michael michael is my buddy with tons of demons and hellcats so he always does that he does the weight mod whenever he's racing his charger i'm not going to say the horsepower on it but he always takes the seat out so i called him he said the airbag should not deploy <laughs> whenever you unhook the sensors on and everything i don't have to pull the battery so it shouldn't be that hard to do it and we do have a little scale here which should work i mean it's it maxes out like 500 ho uh, horsepower <laughs> 500 pounds it should be pretty easy to figure out how much stuff weighs so i'm gonna start by weighing of course the tire and the wheel that we already took off and then the uh, spare tire holder as well because that sucker is heavy and it comes with three plates or brackets that go like underneath the bed that you have to of course kind of screw through the bed and then onto the bracket because that's how it's held up so i'm gonna guess alone on the tire itself it's probably like 150 pounds that sucker is heavy uh that uh, spare tire holder and the brackets i'm gonna say probably is like good 25 to 30 pounds the ram bar itself i'm gonna say it's probably at least 100 pounds because this is definitely like full steel this isn't plastic or just a lookalike so i'm guessing 100 pounds savings there uh taking the interior apart i'm going to say it's probably a good probably another 100 pounds at least for the back seats here because they are pretty heavy and then of course the front seat is probably going to be another 50 to 75 pounds so hopefully in savings wise you know they say like every 100 pounds you you knock off is like a tenth of a second i think or something like that so that could be quite a bit of savings and maybe we could get in the seven eighths and the eighth which would be awesome so let's just start taking stuff apart guys i'm i'm super excited i don't know what to expect but i'm hoping for at least like i would say 500 pounds in savings at least so i don't think that's too much of a thing to ask for but without further ado guys let's uh take the ram bar off which doesn't seem like it's that hard i mean it's a few i think that's a 10 or 12 millimeter bolts one two three on one side and then three on the other side as well so it's not that hard let's take that sucker off real quick i don't think there's anything else really holding it no it should be super simple well there's one on the side here as well but so four bolts on each side and then it just pops right off and let's get this heavy son of a gun off the truck as well maybe my gas mileage will improve also that would be very nice wow these suckers on there are pretty tight actually all right 13 millimeter let's go easy work there we'll just loosen them up real quick So it turns out on each side, there's of course the bolt on the top and then you got a little uh, holder on the bottom. So it makes sense that way you're not just screwing into the bed and nothing's really tightening down on the other side. So it's actually a pretty smart design, just kind of like the uh, spare tire holders as well is the same way. So now we repeat the same thing on this side, which is super simple guys. Seriously, it's like five minutes and this thing is off. So that's amazing. Super simple to do. Looks cool though, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like the Ram bar, I'm a big fan. So. I don't know, we might put this sucker back on. Depends how much time we were able to shave by doing this little mod. There's a little bolt in there on both sides. That kind of makes sense, so it's actually all the way down. There's two bolts there, so I'm guessing that kind of holds this uh, piece that goes in there. Make sure the sucker doesn't fly off. One person job. 
It's definitely more than I thought weight wise, for sure. Let's get it off of here. All right, that is no joke. A lot of weight. Oh my God. Dude, this is like a legit steel, I don't know, roll cage, whatever roll bar you want to call it. Golly, that's close to 100, probably 120 pounds. That is no joke. So the cool thing is, like I said, guys, one, two, three, and then four bolts there. And they got two bolts underneath that kind of what slides in into the bed to make sure it doesn't roll out or, or snap or anything like that. You can actually put some lights on here. That's actually pretty cool. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and move into, well, the fun part. And that is, I don't know, <laughs> taking the back seats out, I guess. I've never really done it before. So let's see how much weight we save with those as well. Should be a pretty quick and simple job. All right, guys. So I decided to actually do the front ones first because I think it's a little bit more simpler or the front seat is. So you literally take out two bolts, one there, one on that side, and two on the back. And then, oh, look the uh, airbag sensor and i think that should literally just be able to come completely out of the car so hopefully it's easy as everybody says uh and then hopefully no airbag explodes either so i'll be the first one to try this on the ram terror x if it works guys now you know what to do all right guys so two in the front are done took those out pretty easily it's not that hard now what you want to do is of course move the seat forward that way you can get to the bolts in the back you probably want to tilt this a little bit so it'll be easier to get out of the truck later too i can't believe i'm doing this this is so dumb it should be about good there let's go in the back and see what that looks like so it shouldn't be that hard so a lot of space to work with now there's the bolt that we talked about so same exact ones in the front and then what you do here is you just want to pop this out and then what's going to reveal is well another same exact bolt there so four bolts and then we unhook the uh sensor underneath there and then just yank this uh, chair completely out or seat completely out god these things are so fancy please don't explode on me <laughs> this is such a weird thing to see that this seat oh my god just completely lifts off that is so insane <laughs> oh what have i done okay well let's go in the front and then hook that sensor real quick okay so it's one of these sensors oh my god this thing's so loose so it should come off the cable should come off somewhere out here yeah it looks like so this is one of those that kind of you gotta push down on it to release. There's a little red pin you pull and then the white pin will come off and then that's how it unhooks itself from what I can see. So, so I think we should be able to just pop this down and then this will unhook. Just need a little bit of elbow grease up in there. And then we should be all good. It should just kind of sort of, there it goes. And then this should be able to just pop out freely. Hopefully, maybe, kind of, sort of. Don't want to play with it too much, but I can see something happening. It's almost coming out. There it goes. Just like that, we're unhooked. The seat is safe. It is ready to be pulled out, guys. Let's get this bad boy out of here. I am such an idiot. Okay. Seat is done. Put this bad boy in here. I don't know why it leans like that. It's weird. Well, because the bracket on that side actually sits up a little bit higher. All right, guys. Now let's move on to the, I think the most fun part we're about to have. And that's taking these bad boys out of here. So both of these seats, it looks like it's all in one piece. There it is. One bolt there. And then I think there's a, a bolt right there on the side. I kind of can see it. I don't know if you guys can. It's a little bit of a distance. And then right past that sensor, there's another bolt. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's kind of a big bolt right there. So we got to take that sucker out. And I'm guessing that's it for the most part. It just all comes out as one assembly. So one there and then, well, pretty much two bolts on each side. So one, two, so two, four. Four, six and eight and then this bad boy should be able to just completely roll out of here hopefully we're about to see if i'm right or if i'm really really wrong and of course there are sensors we got to unhook there as well that's for the heated and cooled seats that this uh truck has so just look at all this space now especially with these seats raised up like that i mean golly you can actually like lay down here and relax so that's not bad man but uh let's see we got to take these seats out real quick shouldn't be that hard all right guys so i was a little bit off on my uh numbers so there's not just uh two bolts on each side you also got these two little nuts that you got to get off up oh, now i'm definitely screwing that on fantastic so it's interesting because the, <laughs> this is a learning lesson for me and i'm guessing everybody else so there's these one massive i think size uh 18 um millimeter you got to take off all the way in the back then you got two of these nuts as well so these two nuts on each side here here and then of course two two so technically you got four bolts or or two bolts two nuts on each uh, side of these seats that you got to take off so this one should be all done it's unplugged it should just completely well hopefully pop out i just got to figure out what else may be holding it hopefully nothing in the back or anything like that looks like everything's unhooked so i'm not sure what could be holding this bad boy down let's all right guys that was a lot harder than it should have been oh my god all right we got it out and we figured out what was causing it to be such a pain but let's take this outside seat number one and seat number two. Oh my god that and that 
was not fun whatsoever. That probably took longer than it should have, but this was my first time doing it. Probably took close to like 45 to an hour. Let me explain why. I was not wrong the first time, I was wrong the second time when I said that it's not just a massive uh, 18 millimeter bolt and then the one in the front that was a 10 millimeter. I also said you have to take out these ones there that kind of like a nut. So you don't have to take these nuts out. So it's literally just two bolts on each side, two bolts on each side, they're there. And then the one that really, really upset me and pissed me off and took forever is you have to find this little string. Without this little string, it will not disconnect the seat from the back of the cab. And when it doesn't disconnect the seat from the back of the cab, that's a pain in the butt. I was like jerking it, trying to figure out what was causing it. I couldn't figure it out, but then I finally did. Turns out it's pretty much the same as like the 19 and 20 rams as well. Nothing really changed about that, but look at all this space now. This is so much room for all kinds of activities. Excuse all these <laughs> random tools I was using, but um, yeah, these bolts right here are no joke. So these are the ones that go all the way in the back. These are gonna be really fun to screw back in, but you can tell, I mean, there's a lot of space here. That was a lot of weight. I'm not gonna lie, those seats were super heavy. So now what we're gonna do is literally we're just gonna put everything on the scale one by one and just see how much weight we just reduced or saved i'm not gonna lie i think we're gonna be over 500 pounds because those seats were actually pretty heavy man more heavier than i thought it would be plus of course we got the ram bar plus we got the spare tire spare tire holder so let's get that scale out here real quick and see what the numbers show all right guys so we're gonna measure all this stuff out or weigh all this stuff out so we're gonna start with i think the tire because this is the easiest thing to really weigh and we'll get out of the way so uh, honestly, I'm thinking this got to be like 150 pounds minimum because it's such a heavy tire and, and wheel. So let's uh, reset the scale to zero. Roll this bad boy on here and we have 104 pounds. 104 pounds just in the spare tire and wheel alone. So that is a lot of weight. So if everything is correct in my calculations and from everything I've read, for every 100 pounds you cut off the weight of a vehicle, that's about a tenth of a second that you're going to be shaving off your time. I think in the eighth, I could be wrong, but I think in the eighth. So honestly, even if we get from 790s, let's say we take 500 pounds off and we'll go from 790s to like 770, 780s, I'll be super impressed because just by taking weight out, you can improve your time by that much, which is a big deal. I mean, you're talking half a car length to a car length ahead of the next opponent that you were racing. So Tire's 100 pounds, let's see what's next. So I think the next one we should go with is probably this seat. I think I can make it work, so I'll probably just lay it down sideways where it's not really touching the ground. See what that looks like. So it's on there dead even right now. 57 even pounds. So another 57 pounds plus 104, we're at 161 pounds that we just shaved off this truck by taking the front seat and the spare tire out. Let's move this to the side real quick. All right, the next thing is let's do, uh, let's do this spare tire holder real quick. I wanna see how much, oh my God, this thing's no joke. This sucker's actually heavy. So we'll put this on here real quick. Uh, probably have to do it this way. 31.4 pounds. Now let's add these brackets also that came with it. So three brackets that are underneath the truck plus the bolts that hold it. So, all right, so with all the brackets and all the bolts, we are at 42.2 pounds. So now we're at 161 plus another 42 pounds. We're at 203 pounds of weight. We just shaved off this truck. So let's keep going, guys. I'm excited. That's a lot of weight. Let's do one of these back seats. This one's the easier one, of course. So I'm gonna say probably another 25 pounds on this bad boy. And that is 51 pounds. So this one seat is the same weight as pretty much the front passenger seat as well. Since it's got heating and cooling elements on it, so it kind of explains it. So another 51 pounds, that is insane amount of weight we're shaving off this truck. All right, now here comes the hard part. This one is gonna be really hard to kind of weigh. I'm gonna go with the seat first and see if we can kind of maybe put it on here sideways. Now guys, this is not like exact measurements, but it's still gonna show us 76.8 pounds. That's not touching anywhere. So 76 pounds plus another 50 pounds, so 120 pounds just in the back seats alone. That is ridiculous amount of weight. So we're talking what, almost over 300 pounds already, 320 pounds in weight we just shaved off, so. All right, so I said that we're gonna save about 500 pounds in weight and that's what I'm hoping for. We're at 350 right now, so if that Ram bar weighs anywhere close to 140, 150 pounds, that's 500 pounds of weight. That's a lot of weight to cut off a truck. So now we're talking about a 6,400 pound truck weighs less than 6,000 pounds. That's, that's remarkable, that's insane. That's actually what normal Ram 1500s weigh anyway. So we're doing a lot of work, believe it or not. For only about an hour and a half worth of work, we're cutting off a lot of weight or, you know, most cases people just add power, but 
We're gonna shave off the weight off this TRX, guys, and see how much uh, we improve our time. All right, you guys, moment of truth. I don't even know how to weigh this thing because it's not really gonna fit on there. So I don't even know how to, put, how to put this thing on there. Maybe somehow like sideways and then just hold it up or something. So, oh, oh yeah, this bad boy weighs a ton. It's not damaged the wheels, or wife will kill me. Flip it to its side, I guess, I don't know. It's not really an easy way of doing this. Oh God, I'm definitely holding it right now. You guys aren't seeing much, and I don't even know how to put this thing on there, man. Oh, wait a minute. What if I flip it upside down? All right, let's try that. Brand new ramp off for sale if anybody's interested. Okay, let's do this again. Oh, that's cool, it's got like a little holding points, I guess, not really intended for it. On the scale it goes, and we are at, all right, it's showing 65 pounds, guys. I don't know if that's true or not. I feel like it weighs a little more than that, but it's so hard to measure this thing. I'm gonna put it down. I don't know if it's 65 though. It feels like it's a lot heavier than that. All right, guys, so let's get an idea of the numbers. So if our math is somewhat correct, then 104 pounds for the tire, 57 for the front seat, 42 for the spare tire holder, 51 for the back seat, 76 for the back seat, and 65 Ram bar. That's 395 pounds just in these items right here alone. And you're talking about a saving of 400 pounds. 400 pounds, I promise you we're gonna notice at the track. And on top of that, I had car seats in there. I had a lot of stuff in that truck. I know it seemed like it was like like, why would you tear apart a 2021 Ram TRX, right? This thing is a beauty, and I agree with you guys, I do, but I've always wanted to try it. I've always wanted to see what it does, like weight-wise to do weight reduction mods like this. So I don't know, I, I'm kind of happy. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen at the track. And quite honestly, man, <sighs> Dude, these seats, oh my God, so comfortable. Look at that massive front end. It's like a TRX staring you in the face, guys. So yes, it was a little bit of work. I promise you, it's gonna be probably a lot easier to do it the second time. It's not gonna be as hard because now I know what I'm doing. Literally, all you need is a 10 millimeter and an 18 millimeter for the massive bolts in the back. That's it. The rest is super simple. Uh, one thing, like I said, is just pulling the strings on the back of these back seats. You just gotta know where to find it. You gotta squeeze your arm in there. So mine's a little bit on the bigger side. So it's a little bit tough there, but I, I, I can't wait to see what this is. And quite honestly, guys, I wanna know no. Do you think I should put the Ram bar back on or do you guys like the look of just no Ram bar period? Like, what do you think overall? Let me jump over all this stuff here. Does that look cleaner? I mean, what do you guys think? Do you like to see the Ram TRX with no bar on it period? If you do, let me know. Comment down below guys and we're just gonna have to figure out what to do with these holes and of course they did drill holes in here in the plastic in order to, to put the Ram bar on here. So I don't like that. Um, That's definitely gonna rush quite a bit and I don't know guys. I, I do love this truck though. This, this thing's gonna be a monster. I can't wait to get the red eye back and, and do a lot of work with the truck of course towing it but also doing a lot of work at the track as well i really really wonder if my gas mileage is going to be better now there's nothing here <laughs> that is a rear seat delete a passenger seat delete that way i have no no people riding with me period ever there's no reason anybody's going to be in this truck but me i don't know it feels like a race car now this is so weird now yes i could have took out like you know the the uh tools to get the spare tire and stuff but you never know you actually need it at the track but besides that i mean weather mats and a few seat belts and stuff like that i think we did a good job honestly i am super excited to see what this truck does guys if you made it this far i appreciate it so much this was a lot of work so definitely drop a like drop a comment subscribe to lex to see i heard he likes to do a lot of fun stuff and a lot of dumb stuff as well <laughs> i'm gonna get bashed for doing this this is my 2021 ram trx with less than 2,000 miles on it and i already took it all apart oh this is gonna be a pain putting it back to get there i just realized that but hey guys 400 pounds hopefully that accumulates into four second or four tenths of a second shave time at the drag strip i don't know guys comment down below what do you think is that gonna help me a lot taking 400 pounds off this truck so technically we're below almost right below 6,000 pounds now for this 700 horsepower ram trx so the power to weight ratio is a lot better now so next video of course we are picking up the charger red eye with a ton more horsepower probably close to a thousand horsepower so i'm excited ram trx is going on the drag ship as well so thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching me do stupid stuff like this i love it but you guys are amazing enjoy your lives enjoy your trucks just do whatever you want with them it's your life and as long as you're happy that's all that matters and i'll see you guys next video peace